My name is Sarah Soul Webb. I'm an artist here in Birmingham. And I got started with Artblink um, about four years ago, I think. And I actually asked to be a part of it and uh, I was pretty excited to be included. Um, I was a dietitian, a registered dietitian at UAB for years. And I worked at the Cancer Center. And um, over the years, I've transitioned my career from dietitian to full-time artist. But uh, this just called my name. Um, being able to help out an event like this and uh, it's just plain fun too. So, What inspires me in my art? Well, normally the event is 90 minutes and that changes what I paint. Um, now I'm, I'm, today I'm at my own studio, so I think it'll be representative of my own art. Um, I paint the water, I paint um, children swimming. Actually, uh, my bread and butter is, is painting portraits underwater right um, lately. So, uh, but today I'll be doing a water piece. All my water pieces are different. Um, this one canvas really called to me. It's, uh, I believe it's six feet by 12 inches wide. And um, um, I think water connects us all. And I think we all have a relationship with water and whether you grew up on the water like I did in Pensacola, Florida, or you grew up going to the lake or just who doesn't love swimming? And um, so I think I think a lot of people connect with my work because it it you know I hope that it makes people think of their childhood and um, just the freedom that they had. Um, but I I was thinking about this piece and uh, and specifically with people undergoing cancer treatments and um, just I wanted to create something soothing, um, calming, something happy, and um, so. I hope it works out today. I mean, who among us has not been touched by cancer, whether it's ourselves or a loved one? Um, my mother-in-law had cancer. Um, she's a breast cancer survivor. Um, my father-in-law's sister passed away from cancer and I, I wear this ring of hers. Um, when I paint a lot, it makes me think of Aunt Jan. Um, my sister's mother-in-law passed away from cancer. We, Everybody has been touched by cancer, and so um, this is especially meaningful to me because this is this is just you know who who hasn't been affected, you know.